Hello guys, um, welcome to the channel. In this tutorial, we'll be covering three topics. Uh, there will be storing user input in an array and display that input in a list view. And the second topic will be persisting the list using shared preferences and display the list a different activity. So let's get started by creating a new project. Okay, this will be our project. Okay, let's remove the default and change the layout to linear layout. So first we're going to add the edit text, give it an ID of text input. Then we're going to add a button. Then let's give it an ID of save button. Then we also need a list view. Let's add the list view and give it an ID of list view. All right, let's change the orientation to vertical and add some padding. All right, let's go to the main activity and declare our variables that we're going to use in this activity. So we're going to have the button, text input, list view, array list and array adapter. So the array adapter will be linked to our array list. Then we're going to set up an on click listener. Now, when you click on the save button, we're going to add the item into the array. And we're going to check if the array has the item already. If it does, then we're going to show a toast and return, not add the item again. And again, we need to check if the item is empty. Then, if the text is hello empty, we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to display a toast and return. Right. If the item doesn't exist, we add it to the list. Then notify the adapter that there was an item or the list has changed. Then it, it will force the adapter to re-render. Then we're going to set the text input to an empty string. Let's try it out. It seems to be failing. Um, Complain about the SDK, so let's change this one to 33 and run again. Okay, we can add items to the list. All right, cool. So the next step will be processing the data using the shared preferences. So we're going to declare two variables here, our two constant variables, the shared preference string and shared preference key. So we use this later when we um, save the, the data to the, to the shared preference and we use the key to um, retrieve and save the data. 
So we need to create a new method here called save data. Then here we need to declare our shared preference. I'm going to use this um, our constant and set the mode to private, which means that only our app can access the, the shared preference. Then we need a data here as well. So we're going to use, need on the JSON from Google. Now let's add it to our dependency. Let's try to import it. Seems, seems like it doesn't want to import. We might have to manually import it. Okay, let's go up and import it manually. All right, so let's go back. So now we need to, um, to create a JSON string variable that we're going to store the, the list in. You know, to reference our items. We're going to use our shared preference key and our JSON string here. And we need to apply the changes which will save the changes into the shared preferences. Yeah, now let's create a method to load the preferences. So I'm just going to copy the same code. And now we need to get the data from the shared preferences. Actually, I need to use sp, sp.getStream. And we're going to use our shared preference key here and add an empty string as a default value. So if the value is empty, we're just going to return. If there is if there is a value, we're going to try to convert that value into a list using the type and the type token. It seems like it's feeling to import again. Let's go up and import. All right, let's go down. So we've been released with type string. I think in, and we're good to get the type. And now we're going to add the values from the shared preferences into our items. And that's it. Let's go up and well, when we add the data, we need to save it to the shared preferences. So let's call the save data method here. All right, so we need also need to load the data when we first start the application. So let's call the load function here. Let's restart the application. can add stuff in there, all right. Okay, now let's close the app and try to open again and see if we're going to load the data from shared preferences. Okay, can load the data from shared preferences. And the next step is I want to be able to click on the item and remove it from the list. So I'm just going to add an event listener here and based on the item that was clicked, we're going to remove it from the list. So we're going to show a model with, with, with two options, to yes and no. So we need to pass the ID of, of the, the item. Let's use a get here. Then let's set 
the positive action here. And only we're going to remove the item. And then we need to notify the list of the data that there was changes to the to the array. And we also need to save the data again. Then in case of a no, we're just going to close the, 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 the dialog. All right, let's try that here. Okay, since that is failing, looks like we're missing something. I'm not sure what I'm missing here. Oh, okay. Let's comment that one and see if it's gonna run. Okay, still failing. So it's complaining about an index that is out of bounds. Okay, we have two variables with the same name. So let's change this one to P and let's see if it's gonna run. Okay, seems like it's working. All right, so the next step, we want to add a button to navigate to our second activity where we're going to display the list that we have. All right, so let's give it this button ID of second activity and change the text. Right, so let's add the new button here. Let's add an event list now. When we click on here, we're going to start a new activity. So let's create an intent. Okay, let's pass our main two activity class here. It doesn't exist, we'll create it after, after this. Let's start our activity by passing the intent then create a new empty activity. So let's change this to a linear layout and add our list view. Just going to copy the one, the existing one and paste in here and change the ID. So let's copy the variables from here because they're going to be similar. Okay, let's remove the activity button. Now we need to copy the load data method and paste in here. Then load the data from, from shared preferences. Let's restart the application and see if it works. Seems like it's crashing. I can find something. Okay, let's just. Have a look here. Let's comment this one out and test again. 
No, okay, it was missing the list view. Just change that to two and let's see if it runs. Okay, now let's restart the application again. Okay, works. You can delete, you can go back there. Okay, All right. Seems like it's working. Thanks guys, uh, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.